WordPress is an easy way to make websites. How easy? Well, that depends on your skill level. So check out some of these examples. This here, this kittyblogger.wordpress.com, this is the most you know, typical example of a WordPress site. You can see we have titles, we have blog posts, we have a sidebar, it's a WordPress site. But WordPress can be so much more. It can be a portfolio site for your videos. And it can be a site that's used by TED, CNN, and Time. All of these great sites are also using WordPress, which is awesome. At its core, WordPress is an easy way to just make updates to your site. That's all it is. You go to a little site like this that I'm making, and you go to the back end, and now I can update that text, click update, and then everyone in the world can now see my updates of text, images, and everything awesome. Okay, so WordPress is pretty cool. Well, how do you get started making a WordPress site? That's where you have to make a decision. There's two kinds of WordPress. Now stay with me here. There's WordPress.com and org. WordPress.com is where you go to make that cat site, where you go to make the simple portfolio site. It takes no code and you're up and running in minutes. WordPress.org, that's where you might need a developer or some skills with a hosting company, a server, a little bit of that kind of stuff. So you can decide for yourself to up your skills, to hire a developer, or just get started today at WordPress.com. I'll make two videos following this on each of those so that if you want to go a little bit deeper, you know how to get started.